Welcome back, Clutch Care Crew, to another episode of Diamond Dynasty. I got a very fun team build for you today. It is going to be a team built by Mini Bats. Look at all of them. I got a nice spot for them right here so you guys can always see the mini bats. We're gonna start with catcher. We're gonna pick a bat and whatever team the bat is, is what team the card has to be. So let's get started. All right, mix it around. All right, make sure we don't look, all right? No cheating. The first card is a player on the Padres. You can see that right there. Now, if I draw a bat that has a piece of paper on it, that means I've either been to the stadium and just haven't got a mini bat, which is crazy because I've been to Petco so many times, or I haven't been to the stadium at all. And these are the six stadiums I have not been to yet. I hope to go to all of them in 2024. If this is a stadium that is nearby to you, let me know in the comments. You want me to catch a game at your stadium in 2024? All right, Padres, catcher, 92. Who is this? Brett Sullivan. That's going to be our catcher. First base, mix them up, all right? I'll give them a good look. Then I'll look away, turning and twisting, and we are gonna get Cleveland. Man, back-to-back -back bats with pieces of paper. I swear to you, a majority of these bats are the actual team bats. Woo, 99 Josh Naylor, 95 Jim Tomei. Let's go Naylor. The ones with pieces of paper on them are just neutral bats, by the way. There's not much on them. I was just traveling and I was at a place that had souvenir bats. So obviously to have the collection, I bought it. But now second base and we're gonna go out here. It is going to be the Houston Astros. And I think we all know who the Houston Astros second baseman is. Bang, bang, oh, Altuve. Hey, how you doing? Next up is shortstop and it is going to be a player from the Arizona Diamondbacks. I can go with Nick Ahmed or Gerardo Perdomo. I'm gonna go Perdomo just because he's a switch hitter. Third base. Let's bunch them all together like this, all right? Like a nice big family hug. Look to the sky, go a little towards the outside, and we end up getting Mariners. Mariners third baseman. Who's that? We can go with Hanyo Suarez. We can go with Kyle Seeger or Hanyo Suarez. I kind of want to take Kyle Seeger just because he's a lefty and I hit better with lefties. Now designated hitter. We could get our best card right here because you can put anybody in the DH role. We just have to get a really good team with some really good cards. Let's mix them up, all right? Find out who the lucky player is gonna be. Who's the lucky team? It is the team, oh my God. The Dodgers. I'm making sure that every time we pull a bat that I'm selecting the team, so that's all the cards we get. If you go to Dodgers, this Jock Peterson card was from the Home Run Derby in 2015 when he was on the Dodgers. So we are gonna go and rock with Jock. Now the outfield, starting with left field. Let's go with the group hug technique again, get them all bundled up right here. Let's go to the right side, and we are gonna get Tampa Bay. The only Tampa Bay left fielders that I have is Randy Rosarena. Every single card is Randy Rosarena. I just have to pick the best Randy Rosarena. Do I wanna use Home Run Derby Randy? Do I wanna use Finest? Randy will go with finest Randy all right the card that was already there center field let's see come on let's see what we got I'm gonna go I'm gonna go right here we got Chicago White Sox Luis Robert 98 overall and I got him boosted to 99 using that card in the beginning of the year right field it's the only spot we have left how about a little up and down all right and then we look this way and we pull from right here and this is pirates roberto clemente 97 overall card for the bench we're just going to pull four straight bats and that is going to be our bench players starting with the padres wow the team we pulled first big boy right here we got the minnesota twins this one it's gonna be the Phillies. I would have loved to get the Phillies for the starting nine. And now the final bench player is going to be Cleveland. All right, Padres, the only 99 overall that I have is Drake Cronenworth, let's use it. Twins, I can go with Harmon Killebrew. Actually, no, Jim Tomei, I'm good with this card. Phillies, do I go with Trey Turner or Bryce Harper? I'm gonna go Trey Turner and get a good mix overall with speed, contact, power, I like it. Guardians, we got Stephen Kwan, and yeah, why not, Stephen Kwan. Good contact hitter, cannot sub them in right now. I can pinch hit during the game, but they gotta stay on the bench. For starting pitching, we are gonna put those four bats back and we're gonna do the same technique. I'm just gonna pull five straight bats and those are the teams that are gonna get us our starting pitchers. First one is going to be the Yankees. Man, that is a good start. Angels, Yankees, Angels. I like where this is going. Rangers, man, I really, wow. We are getting some good teams for aces right now. And then we get the Oakland A's right after I say that. And the final pitcher plays for 
the Royals. Okay, let's see what we can make. Go Nasty Nestor with the Yankees. I mean, it's pretty obvious for the Angels, Shohei Otani. For the Rangers, I'm going Nathan Eovaldi. Athletics, they actually got a good arm. Catfish Hunter, who is this lefty? Cole Raggins. Same concept for the bullpen, except I will be putting the bats back after each pull. Toronto Blue Jays. Tom Hankey out of the bullpen? All right, I like that. Let's throw it back. Let's make this quick. This is gonna be Baltimore. You can see I crossed out SFG for San Francisco Giants because I didn't think I had a Giants bat, but I do. Easy choice, Felix Bautista. Let's keep making this quick. Red Sox, we've only pulled the AL East for the bullpen. What the heck? Jansen, another easy choice. Astros, I know they got good bullpen arms. Phil Maton, moving on. This one is going to be the Chicago Cubs. I got three choices here. Advert, Azale, Mark Leiter Jr., or Javier Assad. I've decided on Advert, Azale. I like his pitch mix the best. Quick pull. This one is the Rockies. I'm not imagining the Rockies having good bullpen. Daniel Bard. You have the Pirates. Please tell me there's a David Bednar card. 97 overall, David Bednar. And the final bullpen arm we will get comes from the Halos. Okay. I'll take Troy Percival, and I really hope he does not have a lefty heavy lineup because our whole bullpen is right handed. That is how I'm going to construct this lineup. And now that we are done with the mini bats, I'm going to need you guys to get out of the way. Fine, I need your help one more time. The park that I will choose is Minute Maid Park, the team that mini bats built. Of course, he picks one of the biggest ballparks in this game. And that's Altuve getting into one. Unfortunately, like I said, this ballpark is gigantic. And that's Perdomo just roping one foul off the column. Nice. Bonus points. And that's Perdomo roping one. Yes! Past him! Oh my god, we got an easy triple out of this. And because of how big this ballpark is, I won't say it's impossible for inside the park home run. Maybe, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hang it third. All right, one out. Oh no, I struck out, dude. That was huge. And Jock hitting it the other way. Gap that. Oh yeah, we're going to pick up the RBI. Jock clutch with two outs and randy might have fisted that one into the outfield to also pick up an rbi and josh naylor did he keep it fair it's going foul unbelievable and that's going to be the third out slapping into shortstop whatever we got two in the first inning i'm happy with it good run support for now oh wow Ooh, man check that guy's face foul ball right into his mask we got o2 on randy and a oh, roll over roll over perdomo do you have the arm strength to get him? What a play. Got Chase Utley up there. Swing and a miss and on the inside sinker. Now Arise is going to roll over to Altuve. Quick inning for Nestor Cortez. Hey, whoa. Hitting Roberto Clemente. Dude, disrespectful. And that is going to be a long fly out. This ballpark is way too damn big, bro. I hate it. Our first pick, Brett Sullivan. And that's roped and it gets through. Love to see it. Oh, what am I swinging at? Hey, bro, why are we hitting my batters? That's going to load the bases for me, though. Thank you. And that's rope down the line for Luis Robert. That'll pick up one. That'll, oh my God, it might pick up all three, honestly. Let's go. Clearing the bases. Luis Robert going to try to make it three. He's in there. He's in there. And that is lasered into center. Jock picking up another RBI. Oh my God, this guy is so bad. Of course, I should have known. At least this time we're playing in Minute Maid, the ballpark that the mini bats chose, and is not a freaking gigantic ballpark. Going with Otani this time. Jackie's up and striking him out. Love to see it. Lindor up this time around. Oh, one pitch on Lindor. Love it. Okay, got him there. One, two, three for show. And oh yeah, getting Trout. Just like the ending of the WBC. He struck him out. Zero ERA. I get to break his ERA? Too bad he throws like a 1940s newspaper boy. Oh my God. Come on, Altuve, in your home ballpark. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> and that is Perdomo. Told you I'd break that ERA. And break out the home run infinity gauntlet. Ha <laughs> ha. Rodo Perdomo, 417 feet of raw power. And that could be with the Crawford boxes. Come on. Maybe they get off the Crawford boxes. Oh, yeah. I got my hands in on that baseball, dude. Uh, thank you, Crawford boxes. That probably is not a hit in any other ballpark. And that's a rollover. Uh, come on. And okay, I, I was debating going home, not going to lie. And that should be Randy picking up an RBI. Clutch two-out hit. 
only like Randy Rosarena knows how to do. Oh, look at that zero ERA turning into a 3.18. <sighs> I did that. Oh, come on, Edwin. Oh, I cannot get these opponents to stick around. One more game, and if this opponent loses connection, quits, that'll be it. And curveball, oh my God, bro. He's fouling so many pitches off. So frustrating, it's been 0-2 this whole time. And there we go, Altuve gonna make the first play. That is one out. From a dominant 0-2 at bat to a 3-0, man. This guy has been taken the whole time. Gonna try and get a double play ball, he stole. So there goes the double play. Fastball, it's gonna be a long one here to Luis Robert. He will tag up, but we will have the second out. Oh, he, what, did he go? Stupid, stupid, oh God, I'm stupid, no! Why did I do that? Yeah, that's my reaction right there, dude. I'm better than that, I know not to fall for that trick, and that's exactly what I did, and thank God we had the shift on. Altuve backhand, got him, barely. And Altuve, opposite field with the shift on. That's gonna be a lead off double for Jose Altuve. And that looks like a good hit for Gerardo Perdomo. It falls. And we will be tied up just like that. What the hell is this guy doing, bro? You mad? And that's gonna roll over, damn it. That was right down the middle too. Double play. Now, why am I reaching? He doesn't swing either anything outside the box. So that makes it extra frustrating. All right, pop up here to start us. Move it, umpire. I will stare you down, all right? Doesn't help that it seems a lot better. It was not created by a bucket of mini bats. Curveball. Oh, right back to Catfish. Let's go. Let's get this second out. If I make those good pitches, he stays alive. And all right, at least he gets this one in play. That is the third out. And get past Blake. Oh my God. Would have been a hit up the middle. But Blake Snell was a brick wall. And that is another hit for Jose Altuve. And thanks to the shift, it might be extra bases again. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I might be stupid, but I'm a genius. And that's Perdomo. Perfect, perfect. Into the gap and over his head. I'm sending these runners. We are going to take this lead. Let's go. Perdomo and Altuve killing it at the top of the lineup. And that is Luis Robert possibly blooping this one. No, never mind. And Jock, man, I just missed turning on this baseball. I know it. And it'll be a one run lead. Let's go Felix Bautista. He only has three pitches. I was not aware of this. And all right, well, one pitch to get Jimmy Rollins to start out of the bullpen. He's only gonna throw one inning, folks. I did not know he only had three pitches. But he's got good command. Look at that, one pitch to Adley Rutschman. All right, maybe I'll give him another inning, honestly. Now it's Corbin Carroll, and look at that. Three balls in the air. It's gonna be three outs, and we are gonna need some insurance. And that is Perdomo reaching. Will the Crawford boxes help us? He's looking, and it's off the Crawford boxes. And will that get through? No, but it will move the runner to third. And Jock will score the run. Let's go. Got his hands in. And that's going to be a double thanks to him stalling with Acuna. I don't know if he did that on accident or if it was a technique. Oh, my God, bro. Yep, gotcha. Did I get him? I don't, I don't know what happened. He ran out of time and I got him. <laughs> yeah, he, kept, he ran out of time. And when you run out of time, if you hit square, your opponent will forfeit. That's exactly what happened, bro. He's doing his little quick pauses and I got him. Idiot. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, everybody, I want you to comment. The mini bats did the job. All three of the games we played in were pretty damn good. Good job, mini bats. Good job. Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, pets, friends, brother, sister, and everybody you notice subscribe to have already. I got this, you got this, we all got this, and I'll see you next time.